Welcome back, everybody. What's up? We are in the shop happy, together today. <laughs> happy winter. Ugh. Um, January 8th it is cold, but it's we, not snowy. Yeah, we thought we'd just take you along for a little project we're working on. Mm. We just can't wait any longer. No, we can't. No. Nope. You know, spring is coming. <laughs> it is. And um, not fast enough. Even though it's not coming, like soon enough. <laughs> We decided to bring it even sooner and you know we've been wanting to try a little experiment for a while yes. and that is just growing food inside during mm -hmm. the winter. In the past at our last house we didn't have any good windows really no. to let in any light. We barely had windows. And we didn't really have enough space either <laughs> for a good spot to set up you know a little grow operation. Totally legal grow operation. Illegal. Mind you. Totally legal. Um, but so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take a look at some things that we got left over from last year, mm -hmm. and we're gonna use some of our reusables to maybe plant some things inside. So we're gonna show you what we're gonna do out here, mm -hmm. then we'll go inside and show you our setup in there and yep. how we're gonna all try to make this happen. We're gonna do it, we're gonna try it. Are we going to succeed or will it be a failure? We are going to succeed. We have all the elements that we need for success. <laughs> The only thing that could cause failure is, is us. us. <laughs> so, all right, what are we doing? Let's Andy? show you what we got. So, I'm a big advocate of keeping all your old containers that you buy your potted plants and stuff in uh, from, you know, the stores and whatnot when you get stuff for the garden each year. And I even have a little network of people who like to just give me all their stuff when they buy plants every year. So we have an abundance of pots and that kind of stuff that we just keep for exactly this kind of thing. For seed starting and for um, growing indoors. So I keep all these little trays. They're really good for keeping spacing. So you can see here, you know, we have a, you know, probably a three, four inch spacing between plants. So we can use that to help us determine what we might plant in here. And then, you know, we got a fairly good amount of dirt, you know, about a four inch, five inch deep um, amount of pot of dirt to work with there. Um, so we'll, we'll plan on planting some things in there. We'll show you some of the seeds we're thinking about doing. And then over here, I have some more set up already um, with some little four inch pots as well. And then we've got our seed starting trays that we usually use just for little seedlings, but I have a good idea for what we can use these for too, for some different kinds of plants. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we have some potting and garden soil left over from last year that we didn't use a lot of. It's really dried out right now and it's honestly partially frozen as well, but we'll work with that. We've got uh, our little dump cart over here. I'm just gonna take and Oh, you never want to use complete 100% potting soil for growing, you know, your your plants in. Usually you want to mix it with something that's more nutrient dense because a potting soil is going to have a lot of fill in it and that kind of stuff for good drainage. Its main purpose is to get your things to sprout and seed and go. And then it provides a little bit of, you know, feeding uh, for your plant. So this one says actually on it, it's good for like nine months worth of, worth of fertilization. Um, you know, this one's six months, you know, so the, for the garden soil. But hey, um, we're gonna give it a shot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the two, mix them together in here, and then we'll get started. Okay, so we're inside now, letting the dirt thaw. I feel like it's a co cooking channel or something. <laughs> um, but uh, here's our setup. So basically we just have a rack. You can build one, you can buy one at your local hardware store, whatever you wanna use for a rack. 
Really the only important part is that you can adjust the height of your lights. Um, and for us, the way we do that is really simple. We got these super affordable four foot shop lights at our local hardware store, Menards, if any of y'all are familiar with that. Um, and these were like $8.99. Maybe the bulbs were seven. But yeah. they were like $4. Yeah. So, and you can see here that it's rated, it tells you what kind of bulb it uses. <clears throat> if you're familiar with fluorescent bulbs, this T number here kind of tells you um, what kind of light it gives off and if it'll be uh, good enough for growing plants. We grew all of our seed starts last year under these lamps and they did fantastic. Um, so I really like fluorescent bulbs for growing just when you compare cost and that stuff to doing like a LED equivalent where you have to have all of the different colored LED and different spectrum lights and that kind of stuff to get the equivalent light spectrum that you're looking for. Um, I found that um, fluorescents work the best and they last a really, really long time. So anyway, long story short, these are a great option. If you wanna go with an LED version, um, there are options online, but we go with the four foot variety. And then this is about, I think 30, 27 inches wide or so, just about 30 inches wide and two of them covers it quite nicely. Um, so when you start your seeds, you want these to hang really low and close to the seeds so that your seed, seedlings don't get leggy. Um, that's usually like the most common problem with people growing um, their plants indoors is they'll have their lights set really high, their seedlings will come up right away and then they'll get super leggy because they're really reaching for the light. And the way to prevent that is to keep your, your lamps hanging really low. So these work pretty simple. You just hook these in the top and then I just got a couple of scrap pieces of wood I had and I, I uh, included uh, these screw um, placements came included with the kit. So I didn't even have to buy those separately. And then now if I wanna adjust the height, it's easy for me to do that. I can do that here, you know. Um, like that to raise it up and actually I should have these switched around so it's a little easier but mm. um, that makes them adjustable that looks like I'll probably need to move these um, but that's okay and then I've got these I made these little extenders so I can drop it down even lower when I have a seed tray down here I really want them to sit right on top so that's our setup it's pretty straightforward um, and then I just get a little power strip to plug these two into so I can flip the switch on and off every day. Um, usually run, you know, a summertime's worth of daylight for the plants and then shut it off at night. And uh, if your neighbors ask any questions about why there's light emanating from your basement all, you know, the day long, you can just tell them, you, if you can ask them if they want some vegetables and they'll probably be happy. So, um, yeah, that's our set. Hey everybody, check this out. Look, I got the dirt out of the bags and it's so floofy and wonderful. It's, it, it's ready to go, just like that. So, uh, while the magic was happening on the video, we went to Fleet Farm and picked up some of these. Fleet Farm! And picked up some of these. Um, Inside these are really nice because when you when you put water in your pots It catches it down at the bottom and then uh, you don't have to water quite as often It, it kind of retains the moisture in your pot. So um, We're ready to start potting them up with dirt and bringing it inside so we can plant our seeds Let's get started mm -hmm.
so here we go. We put um, all of our pots up here. Typically you want them to be the same level so when you put your lights down they, they sit right but this should work fine either way. The nice thing with these is we can adjust them so it's higher on this side and it kind of slants down that way. So that should work out pretty good. And here is our seat. planting so you can see how we got it all here um, basically um, we've got uh, what was it oh yeah so this is spinach and Radish. radishes and then we have some bunching onions and masculine mix and then and Arugula is right no, here. No, that was just red romaine. It was like a romaine mix, a lettuce. Oh, it, hold on. Oh yeah, it's tricolor romaine. Yeah. It's tricolor romaine. So this is tricolor romaine in these mm -hmm. six sections, and then this one is arugula. Mm -hmm. So we got a nice little mix there for a salad with spinach and arugula and lettuce. And then we have kale over here. Uh, and some Swiss chard in the back and then up front you can see we have thyme, parsley, and cilantro planted and then rosemary, some mint, and basil up here. This is one of, if you look back, I'll link it up here when I was sorting through my seeds. This one's from 2018, so. So we'll see if it grows. Um, these we'll plan on moving out once they come up and we'll repot them later. Same with these because mm -hmm. they'll outgrow these containers. Um, but as things start to come in here, we'll, we'll want to probably space them out a little bit anyway as, this, as they need to. So and then back have here to, we have butter crunch. So we have lettuce. Yep, so we have butter crunch lettuce here. That'll definitely need a little more space as it gets bigger. Um, and so we might repot that as well. We'll see. But the nice thing about pots is, you know, we can always, we can always pot up. Mm -hmm. So it sh this should do good and technically each each plant's probably got enough dirt for so like Spinach and radishes. They're really quick, right? So like 35 45 days and they're ready to harvest so they don't need a ton of dirt um, By the time they're done and you pull them and they're harvested They're pretty much ready to go We can supplement their fertilizer as needed with something to give them a little nitrogen to keep the greens growing same thing with the lettuce um, so should be good. So well, we'll just water and we'll finish up. Especially if we're not talking. All right. All right. So we got them all planted now, and we got. Good. And they're watered and mm -hmm. the lights are on. We'll lower the lights here in a little bit, but we need to get the kids in bed. Priorities. Yeah, you know, I don't like how the screen's up there and then I'm not looking at the camera. I know. And now I'm looking at the people. Hi. Hey. Hi, people. <laughs> See? Look at me. I'm not looking at them. I'm like looking at the person over there. That person. Okay. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like. If you're not subscribed, do so.